It is officially Black Friday week and there are like 35 different pairs of shoes that are releasing between today and Cyber Monday. Since I will be here for like an hour trying to cover all of those at one time, let's just start with the pairs that are dropping today and tomorrow and then I'll follow up on Thanksgiving with another video that covers the weekend. I am your host Jacques Slade and this is the Heat Check Black Friday Part 1. It's time for us to show that heat that this weekend will be on your feet. It's the Heat Check. There are a wide variety of releases that are dropping. So let's start with those that are on the lifestyle side of the spectrum. Nike is headed back to the 90s with a few different premium styles such as the Air Hirachi, the Air Max 90, and the Air Max 95. As I mentioned, all three pairs are premium models with medium ash and cool gray as the main color choices. All three of these will be at finish line for 110 for the Hirachi, 120 for the Air Max 90, and 170 for the Air Max 95. On the more exclusive side, the Nike Roshi LD1000 and the Nike Innova Wogan will be dropping on the 26th. Both are basically hybrid styles with the Roshi costing you $90 and the end of the woven costing you $215. KD is also getting into the lifestyle mixed with a beta fish inspired version of the KD7 lifestyle. These have a really interesting looking upper with a lot of colors. Those are 125. For the last two lifestyle looks, we have the new Hypercross trainer with a Northern Lights theme. That one's gonna cost you $150. And bringing up the back of the pack is the Nike Air Foam Posit 1. The colors are officially Total Crimson and Game Royal, but I have a feeling that people are gonna be calling these the New York Foams. You can grab these on Wednesday as well for $230. Heat check. Switching to the performance based kicks. Finish line has a few runners in the pipeline for both men and women. The Pegasus 31, the Structure 18, and the Nike Elite 7 are all part of a new runner's celebration pack and feature tonal prints, paint speckles, and a metallic swoosh. Pricing is 110 for the Pegasus, 130 for the Zoom Structure, and 120 for the Elite 7. All drop at finish line on the 26th. The Nike Lunar TR1 is also making an appearance this week with Oregon branding. Duck fans can grab those for $120. On the basketball front, the Kobe 9 Elite is making a comeback this weekend in a gaming inspired colorway that mixes Sequoia and rough green. You can grab those for $225 on Wednesday. The next pair, the KD7 Lightning 534, actually dropped today. Now this is one of the brighter looks to hit that performance sneaker with the cave purple upper, and they're the normal $150. And last but not least, we have the D-Rose 5 Boost. These are known as the woven blues with that woven upper and introduce a new look to the silhouette. Finish time will have these for $140 starting on Wednesday. Heat check. As I was saying, there are a ton of shoes that are going to be dropping over this Black Friday week. This is just part one. Make sure you look for part two, which is going to be posted on Thanksgiving Day. I am Jacques Slade. If you're looking for anything in this video, make sure you hit the links down in the description because it'll take you directly to the shoes over on the website. Again, I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, I appreciate you. All right, guys, you have a great, great Thanksgiving. I'll see you soon. Peace on the upper that allows it to still remain visible. I actually wore, trained, or I guess wore test these in the Elite socks, and I usually wear just the regular Nike dry fit socks, and my foot didn't feel really hot. I wear the dry fit ones just because I feel like my feet get really hot really quickly, and I didn't.